Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video to Inktober, Ink Plus Watercolors and Cheating Inktober maybe. And today I will be again using this uh, Hannah Muller sketchbook, watercolor book that I have designated for uh, Inktober. And I will be using again ink pens from Etcher 01, 03 and 05. Also, I will be using this pencil. This is 4B pencil, but you can definitely use a lighter one uh, and also an eraser and some watercolors, but about watercolors later on, of course, brushes. And for today, I was thinking we could be doing a witch, which fell into her, well, potion. It is, after all, tomorrow Halloween, so I thought maybe do a little bit something more Halloweenish, even though the previous two days were somewhat scary, but not really. So let's do a witch today. And I will start with my sketch. Just gonna first sketch that bowl with a potion. Like that. I'm not gonna be bothered with the uh, symmetry this time but if you want a symmetrical well you can just do one side you know on the paper just fold it draw one side uh, of the ball cut it and you when you open it it will be you'll have both equal sides right so let's do some wood here, wood chops like that, some maybe going over and on like that. And let's do our witch. So I will start me. And also here at the knee. Like that. And her boots. Which don't have to be perfectly shaped. As you can see, not neither are mine. This is going to be a fun illustration, so it doesn't have to be super precise. Like that. And then the other side, a potion. And we'll do a few lines for the for the potion going out we'll see about that but whether or not we're gonna do that so let's just do our ink 05 I will start with this one and then just the lower part we have some wood chops here for the fire and then here like that and this fire hasn't maybe started yet so our witch is quite lucky and just might escape with no burns at all so she's just preparing it all didn't really start the fire so this is one not so handy witch <laughs> like that like that and then some embellishments on her 
shoes. So let's do some details. I will just add a few of the shadings here in the lower part with the same 05 this time and some here maybe some details on it on the wood and I will just erase my I will just erase my pen lines pencil lines just get a zero one and do just a, a little bit more of the shading with that slightly lighter pen so this is something cooking there that as I said, probably hasn't started. We haven't turned on the fire yet. So our witch will probably be saved. This one could be a good witch, right? Why not? That and So let's write in here. This is going to be which October 29th. Yes, no, 30th. Is today. Okay, saved. <laughs> so let's start with our watercolors. And for the watercolors, I will today be using mine. So I'm gonna just put here some black. And first, before I start, I will just do a few splatters and then just start with the black. Like that, just add a bit more to these parts just two toppings here and also I will paint her boots shoes also black like that we don't have to paint it the entire way just a little bit more and then this smear that like that for her boots a little bit more here and in here I will also get some violet because why not right and just add some violet here like that to make it a little bit more interesting and also maybe some parts of their boots like that and inside of the like 
that just a little bit more. There you go. Like that. And I will just get a little bit smaller brush, pick up some clean water and do few splatters with the clean water and few splatters with black and also few splatters with black around and for those for those wood chips I will get this is something like a rose sienna and I'm just gonna put here some rose sienna and then a little bit of brown like that just to add touch few touch-ups of the color here and then again some black go around our woods like that and a little bit more of that maybe some yellow like that and then for her uh, for her legs we'll use just a little bit of the yellow a little bit of the red and a little bit of blue those are nice colors for for the skin like that great combination for the skin color yellow red and blue like that and if you want you can add maybe uh, some of the well to make it look like she has the socks but I'm not for now I'm just looking I want to add some very very bright color here I will pick up some yellow and put the buckles like that in yellow so like that for our witch do want to add a little bit more of the pigment like that looks nice let's just do a few splatters with that violet like that and we can make a we can make our potion like that maybe make it look like just some of it got out when she fell in so let's just do some crazy splattering there and a little bit more of the violet for that swoosh like that there you go I'm going to add a little bit of the green also like that and I'm thinking whether or not I do want to add 
Well, I don't think I do. I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I will just dry that now. This is now completely dry and I will just get a little bit more of the violet with this smaller brush and do a few drop-ins here and then just a little bit more of the yellow and also a few drop-ins here like that and if you want you can add some maybe details to her legs like that and i believe that's it let's just do well, something is called i just want to do a few dots on her boots so i'm using this is oil pencil you can do that with a gel pen or maybe do that with a white gouache and just a few like that highlights. Like that. Maybe two of those. There you go. So I'm thinking whether or not I want to add the socks to her to put them up to there and just no I don't I, I like it the way it is so let's not go overboard I will just add a little bit more of the yellow here that's it and that's it that's that's it that's it that's it we are done <laughs> With our witch actually one more thing I, I just noticed I didn't do I will get a little bit more of the uh, black and do a few black splatters just a little bit more water and a little bit more and that's it now we're done so October 30th done and there is just one more day to go. So we almost made it, right? We almost made it. Thank you guys a lot for all your support. I'm enjoying so much your comment. I I love that you love this series, that you're enjoying this series, that you're improving in your ink and in your watercolors. That's, that's super awesome. That was the point, you know, to all of this. That's the reason why I decided to do this series because I did want to improve to all of us to improve in ink and watercolors to get some new ideas for this illustrations. They're quite simple. I'm keeping it quite simple. We are doing it every day and it would be tiresome if it, it would be something difficult and it would took hours to do. So these are quite simple and easy and fun. And I do believe, well, anyone, almost anyone can do that. So again thank you so much for for your support if you do like this video please hit the like button and if you appreciate this seri series serious want to say thank you there is a thanks button beneath this window so you might want to click on that and check out what that means that's just one time donation not obligatory of course and guys thank you thank you thank you so much for watching for all your support and i hope i will see you tomorrow bye